Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Overwatch Wednesday live here at the NECC. I am coming to you live for game two of tonight's doubleheader. And joining me, of course, the one and only, the man that sends shivers down people's spines when he's in game, Connor Breeze is here. What's up, Connor? Not much. How you doing tonight? I'm good. I, I mean, I tell you what, I keep making up these puns for your name, and I love it, man. I'm just telling you right now. I keep it going, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we have an amazing matchup tonight. I could not be more excited as Champlain College comes in and faces California State, Dominguez Hill. My goodness, do we have a 4K matchup? Connor, we've, we're about to see some high-class Overwatch. Oh, there's going to be lots of point contention in this one. I can't wait to see the kind of team compositions they come out with tonight. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, you are going to see that same map set. You're, we're going to start on the streets of Havana, move in the high country to Eichenwald, and then end by the sea in Ilios. This is a best of three match, but we will play all three maps here at the NECC to help those map wins can determine playoff seating down the line. Now, 
Connor, the biggest thing I think we need to tell people is what is the biggest difference that people might see here in the champions division over what they saw earlier tonight in our in our previous game? Well, it's a lot faster, first of all. The team comps are going to be put together faster. They're going to hit each other harder at the choke points. They're also going to work together with their ultimate abilities a lot better, and they're, you're going to see a lot of uh, two ultimates at a time instead of you know one here and there trickled in. You're going to see a lot of teamwork here moving forward. Absolutely. It's going to be a fantastic night of Overwatch. And we want to say thank you to where that fantastic night of Overwatch is brought to you by. So a huge thank you to our partners. Thank you to our friends over at Helix Esports, our friends at ESTV, providing some of the best over, the best esports in the world on their platform. And of course, our friends at the NFL Alumni Association for past and present players getting involved in esports. I tell you what, I cannot wait to get this game started. Uh, you know, California State, Dominguez Hills, you know, they, they play multiple titles here and they've been competitive at every single game they played. You, you have to think that um, they're going to start out pretty powerful. You know, Champlain College does come into this, uh, Connor, with, with a 1-0 uh, record as this will be Champlain College's first match here in week two. I mean, I think we're about to see some fireworks, my man. Oh, for sure. There's going to be big clashes all over the screen for the entire night. It is going to be one battle after the next. And do do we expect, do you expect to see, uh, I think we do, do we expect to see probably uh, here as we get ready to go to Havana, maybe a double shield? I mean, uh, obviously holding that first corner, getting those early picks, is it, it proved in the last match to be crucial in, in winning this map for sure. Oh, for sure. Double Shield is a very, very strong team composition moving into this map, especially when you're attacking. Just being able to have a little more protection on that open street than you would otherwise. You know, there's a lot of high ground that the defenders can use and a lot of things like that. So that's a, something to definitely consider when moving forward. But once you get around that corner, it's such a close corners team battle that, you know, anything could happen. And like we saw, like we saw in that first match, you know, a, a pocketed mercy, a possible pocketed, uh, sorry, a, po a pocketed widow, a pocketed ash, um, playing that high ground uh, offset of that mid lane. I mean, it, it can just be devastating. As, let's look at the lineups uh, as they pop up. Let's take a look, and just so everyone knows, watching at home, Champlain College will be in blue here, as California State Dominguez Hills will be in the red. Connor, what are you seeing? Well, I'm seeing a lot of uh, oh, I'm seeing a lot of custom match restarted by the moderator. A uh, li little confused here. Uh, no worries. Things are restarting that? here. We're uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we're back in. Uh, team uh, things are restarting, but it looks like the team compositions are going to be the same uh, for the most part. I mean, there's. 25 seconds on the clock for them to assemble sure. their team. But before we went to that weird uh, <laughs> break there, <laughs> uh, I saw both teams using a Ryan-Zarya combination, which is a very Brawl comp-esque. It's, it's very much up in your face. I think I even saw a Reaper in there, which you know could be very, very important to their gameplay style, You know, being able to be up in the enemy team's face you know, with that lifesteal and be able to really cause havoc. So it looks like uh, Ch Champlain, it has a Reaper and Sombra combination, whereas California has the uh, Hanzo and Ash. So California is looking for more of those long range fighters, while Champlain's looking to be up in your face the whole time. We'll have to see how that goes and turns out for everybody. It looks like Champlain is holding in cafe, waiting real close for california to come out we, it'll Absol be a very quick first brawl here absolutely ladies and gentlemen we are 10 seconds away from kicking off this first match let's get into it welcome to the necc and let's overwatch champlain at spawn doors already anteed but two bubbles from zarya coming out immediately keep getting that anti off the tanks you know, they are just immediately brawling, being up in their face, kind of like I thought their game plan would be after seeing the Reaper and, uh, you know, all those close quarters brawl tanks. We got the Re uh, Reaper was slept by Ana from California. Uh, however, Champlain is holding that spawn door 
very well. They are down. Uh, they're Sombra and Moira, it appears, but they are on their way back for spa spawn. This could be an interesting 6v4 here. Sleep and Anti both missed by Ana on California, and now the Rhines are getting into it at the spawn door. Is uh, Lucio running around? Moira making it back into the mix. They Farah was just taken out by Widow. Little bit of a change there from Ash to Widow. Uh, Picking the Mercy, so main healer's down. Reinhardt looks to be in a bit of a bad way until his teammates come and back him up. Shatter Zarya through the payload. Great tech there. Kill Ziana is uh, on fire and act eventually gets picked by the Hanzo Reinhardt combination. There, Reinhardt gets picked by the Moira and Hanzo, or the Moira and Zarya. Uh, and it looks like it is three people left on the payload from Champlain and California regroups. I mean, and what. Wow, how about Champlain just getting on that spawn door, just holding it tough, tough, tough. Moira Zarya, our uh, last two on payload, their team could not get there fast enough and they get staggered. So it looks like Champlain's gonna have to back off here or risk staggering even further, which it looks like they're backing off, waiting for their teammates to get back together into this next fight here. They're gonna give them, sacrifice a little bit of payload space to make sure they have a full six on six team fight moving forward and they'll have a good contest here. And for everyone watching at home, you can see that cart, you can see that payload as it moves forward, as the Rhine moves forward, it's a gun on point. They need to get through each checkpoint to gain more time and get to that final checkpoint. Huge grab from Champlain, and it looks like the Coalesce is going to come through, and the Widow is doing work along with the Reaper. DPS are oh. really being cr crucial to this game's success here. What a that massive a play fantastic ultimate combination like i was saying earlier how they were going to focus more on combining alts that grav moira coalescence was huge there and it looks like their widow is still taking pot shots at the spawn doors for california oh, and, and like have just been popped as well and like we talked about so much momentum at this high a level when you think when you think that uh, uh dominguez hills is going to push around this corner Champ Plane just comes out and, and wins a team fight out of nowhere. And, and Huge shatter out of oh. California. Responded with the beat and the anti, but there comes the dragons as that combination alt. Mercy's in a bad way. Mercy gets taken out. Reinhardt is surrounded. Uh, Champ Plane is going back on the offensive, absolutely deleting California from the game there. That was a team kill if I've ever seen one. And I, and I love you jumping in there, but that's, that's the exact point that I was making there. I mean, what a momentum shift. You think that that California State is going to move all the way up to, with the payload and to come back, regroup as a team, and just massively win that point there. It looks like they're just poking, but Widow, another very dangerous uh, person to play against on this map as well. Uh, Grav coming out, Ash is rezzed, and there is the Nanode Rhine. Bet he's shattered. Here comes a Reaper all into the Shatter, but they are anti and the Rhine survives, but the Zarya does not. Bob's in the background. Uh, Lucio is zoning, trying to hide behind that lamppost to not die from that Bob in the background. They are completely ignoring Bob. And it looks like they got five seconds left. They might be able to get a single contest left, uh, but it is not looking good for California. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of round one. I mean, Connor, wow. What, what a way... Um, for Champlain to push through and take it. And I mean, California State Dominguez Hill, just nowhere to go, nowhere to go. So obviously it sets them back for this for this next round. Yeah, I think their, their uh, thought process of being so up in their face with their composition, I think really worked out for them. And also having that smart switch from uh, Sombra to Widow, noticing the Sombra wasn't getting as much value as the Widow could be uh, after Sombra was taken down on a stagger. Uh, I think was a really, really smart move for them, and uh, it, it paid off well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And ladies and gentlemen, you are watching us here. This is the Champions Division, our top tier. Some of the biggest Overwatch teams in the country in college esports are here. Teams like Boise State, Midland University, obviously these two great schools. Multiple, multiple universities here at the NECC. And, and Connor, I, I think... I mean, it goes to show that I think that the NECC is putting something very special together, especially here in this Overwatch division. Oh, for sure, and I can't wait to see it grow even further. Absolutely. Now, it looks like Champlain's got a Bastion in the composition. That could be deadly. 
for California to deal with. California also holding up on spawn doors. It looks like a junk rat trap has been laid. They have a May ready to block off doors, uh, but patient as always. They are coming from far left side instead of doorway, and they are looking to play the safe route, and the Bastion is already tearing into that May wall, breaking shields. And really doing a number on uh, on their uh, composition there. They have an Ana playing safe to the side, you know, keeping heels on their team. But how much can that Bastion do uh, more so than their Ana? If that Bastion stays up, it's going to be a problem. Ryan was res, but, you know, the Reaper and Ryan combo, they are tearing them apart. Huge pin there to keep through. There's a Junkrat on the back side that got the Bastion. Uh, Mercy. Battle, re uh, battle mercying on towards that junk rat, trying to get a pick there, but they are pushing forward without the Bastion. But not that they need it. They are absolutely steamrolling right now. Massive, massive bit of aggression, just like they did in the first round. Yep, it looks like they have enough time for one last touch. We'll see what ultimates are used here. Uh, Bastion's pretty close to an ultimate. Mercy on uh, California's close to an ultimate. Uh, there, there goes the Bastion ultimate. Tracer being a nuisance in the background, really doing a good job of contesting, but could not stay further past there, and it looks like that's going to be round two. That is it. And ladies and gentlemen, Champlain College takes round one, map one, of this best of three series. Uh, let's take a look at the play of the game here. It looks like it's going to be this Reaper. Uh, my guess would be it was when that big shatter. Yep, here it comes takes out the ash with the pocket oh it was not it takes out the ash takes out the uh, hanzo so both dps were taken out there and then finishes off the zarya that was some big plays coming from reaper he was up in their face for the rest of that match he was really doing a great job being in position and you know, causing a nuisance for the rest of the other team absolutely and and the way that the way that champlain came out i think it's brilliant the way the way that you said it they they camped on that opening spawn door and they they never took their foot off the gas in anything they did and, and just complete pressure and just almost overwhelmed uh california state dominguez hills Not, nothing they could do oh yeah you know momentum is a big thing in this game and if once you get the uh, momentum of the game it is hard to lose it especially Absolutely. when you're staggering the other team and, you know, getting picks here and there. You know, I think they also did a really good job of when they were staggered, backing up, waiting for their teammates to come back to that fight and give them themselves a better chance rather than going in four on six. Looking at the screen here, it looks like we might have a sub by California Dominguez Hills. I, th I believe switching out Apollo. Am, am I correct there, Connor? Uh, it appears to be. Absolutely. So, guys, as what next, what's going to happen? We are going to switch, and we are headed to the high country, the home of Reinhardt. We're going to Eichenwald. I don't know if it's his home, but I know that's where the cutscene came from. <laughs> Connor, what what can you tell us about this map here? Well, it's a great map here. It's you know really good design. You know, my favorite part of this map is the bridge going into uh, between second and third point. Uh, really getting in there and uh, all those environmental kills that you can get into. It's a very tight location. It's hard to play against. It's easy to defend and really hard to push. So seeing these teams really get after it there is always a good team fight to watch. And then that first corner of the map is always a hard choke point to push through. You know, I'll be very interested to see, you know, if Champlain changes up their strategy at all or keeps with that in your face kind of brawl composition and, you know, keeps pushing forward. And that is exactly what I would expect a Lucio Main to say, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as we move through the streets of Eichenwald, what, I, Connor, you touched on this in the last map, but how about what a beautifully designed map this is? Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong. And, you know, it's a great aesthetic and it works very well. There's a lot of high points. There's a lot of uh, low ground areas. There's flanks. There's a lot of places, you know, to go with this game that opens up a lot of possibilities for the players. Let's take a look at the team composition and see what they're going to come out with. I see a Genji from the California State side. This is looking like a dive composition if I've ever seen one. You know, Mercy Lucio for the supports, you know, good mobility there. They also got the Genji Tracer combination, which is great for getting picks very, very fast. And then obviously you got your Diva Winston to really dive on target. So it looks like they're going to try to outdive the other team who is using uh, Reinhardt Diva 
with a Moira and Lucio for the supports with an Ash and a Reaper. Saying very, very similar to their Brawl comp, it is interesting to see how Dive is going to work into this. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Second map, first round. Champlain up 1-0. to zero. Let's Overwatch here at the NECC. Firestrike eaten at the beginning. Tracer and Mercy all the way to the left side flanking. Quick damage boost for the Mercy's back to the team. It looks like they're getting right into it. Winston dives, pops, bubble. Ryan pins the, the Winston. Diva from California has been demacked. Reaper is getting in there after the Mercy and the Lucio trying to pick the supports. Diva is with him. They pick the Mercy and it looks like Champlain is going to be up here. Winston goes down. Diva's back in mech from California, but is trying to get out while Champlain's Diva is chasing. d and they are most likely going to leave. Yep, it looks like that. They left the Diva d moving forward, and that'll be a severe disadvantage for the Diva. This now this they're... first choke point is so crucial here, Connor. Such a crucial point. Bit of a chase there for the Tracer who ended up picking the Lucio from Champlain and now they are pushing forward and they lost that choke point. But there's a Matt. huge shatter. Got D.Va and Winston uh, both out of here. Genji and Lucio from California are being chased out. Now the Mercy could not make it out. They, I see a Torbjorn now coming from Champlain and it is looking like they have regained control of this map and are pushing back to the choke point. Impressive, impressive start right there. You'd think that all the momentum would go California State's way and, and just to turn it around. It's very impressive. They're really good about regrouping and coming back in with a solid plan of attack. Tracer, doing Tracer things, being in their back line again, trying to pull them away from that choke point successfully. They're rotating right. Uh, Champlain's Diva has been remeched. Uh, they are getting back into it. There's a blade from California and a bomb from Diva. Picks two, but it seems pretty even so far. Mercy reses the Reinhardt. That could be massive. Reinhardt on Champlain has been tracer bombed and is out. It looks like D.Va is what's remaining, and she is being demeched as we speak here. It looks like California is going to take point one. Absolutely. And for those new to Overwatch, now that the point has been taken, that payload will try to be pushed along that timeline at the top center of your screen to reach that checkpoint and get to that final yellow of yellow checkpoint across the main bridge and let's see how this plays out looks like lucio is going to the back line reinhardt's trying to keep them in that room with tracer blinking around in there being a nuisance genji's on uh torbjorn's turret and breaks that on the bridge while he's fairly out of position uh the team fight is going forward torbjorn ults all over point forcing california to drop back and regroup slightly and they are up in their face. They don't care that their spawn's 15 feet away. They're going after it. Reaper ults in the background, gets the Lucio, and they pick all of them with the ults. It looks like a Coalescence was also popped there, and that just cleans up. They push all the way to the spawn doors and then bring back. There is a Tracer near spawn, and it looks like they were chasing her for a bit, but now they are regrouping. Absolutely. And... For California State, man, you have momentum. You have to find a way. Just like Champlain does, you have to regroup here and come back and, and get this payload moving. Tracer sticks Reinhardt from Champlain, and he gets dashed to death by Genji. They're down their main tank. We'll see how it goes here. They have a Baptiste now, and they're using Blade. This is not looking good for Champlain. They are pushing through. Main healer goes down. Reinhardt's fighting, or uh, Roadhog, excuse me, is fighting both. Tracer and Genji in the background. Reaper is the only one contesting point currently, and he is a good character to do it. However, he could not beat four characters by himself. California is now pushing the payload, getting close to the bridge. Tracer, it looks like she is getting a vantage point and is waiting to drop on somebody. Oh, she blinks out, keeps the Lucio for out of the window, and is pushing into the other team or returning back to her point. Now, Champlain's doing something interesting here. They are taking it from the back route, avoiding the bridge in its entirety in order to not get environmental. Lucio gets uh, grabbed, but Ryan shatters four, but it was not enough because of the Baptiste bubble. It looks like uh, they lost this point fighting from behind, but they are still fighting. It looks like they're going to stagger off. Moira does the smart play of jumping off the cliff in order to not give them any extra ultimate charge or... Uh, giving them any extra anything. 
Oh, well, Connor, uh, questionable flank play there. Maybe that's something they practiced. It just didn't work in that situation. You know, it, it's something they may have practiced, and, you know, it might have been somewhat safer to go uh, around the bridge, but, you know, that really gave up, you know, point control, and that's something they really got to, you know, keep in mind when going through that. Moira coalesces, and they pick up a four-piece... Tracer's still in the background, giving them a very hard time. Tracer is very hard to kill. Baptiste jumps off in order to save some ultimate charge from the other team, and they are now, California is now regrouping. Champlain Calif is keeping the pressure on. California State gonna come back here. Uh, they have Shatter and they have Window as well. Yeah, you're not wrong, and uh, Champlain is about to have Shatter, Death Blossom, and that could be a big combination coming up here. They just need to make sure that Lamp is not down when they throw that Death Blossom out there. they pushing them back to the bridge, and it seems like they're playing as aggressive as always, right in their face. California Shan for California quick. State also gets... They, has Blade as well. Blade and, and, the, and, and the Tracer Bomb as well. Looks like Sombra's making an appearance again, uh, switching from the Torb to the Sombra. Uh, seeing if they can get some hacks off. Window's been cast, but it does not matter because Ryan has shattered, but there goes Lamp. Lamp saves uh, California's Reinhardt, but then he re-shatters Champlain's Reinhardt, and here comes the Death Blossom. Picks none, but definitely does a lot of damage here. It looks like Champlain is going to keep the point exactly where it is, although they lost two, but spawn is not far. It looks like Sombra and Zarya are coming back from spawn. Massive California switches to the Doomfist. Massive play here. Let's see what this looking does. For that. Yeah, Doomfist looking for that big pick potential here. You know, his his ability to insta-kill 200 health heroes is aggressive. Nanoblade, first one we've seen today. And he's hacked. That takes that away from him almost in its entirety, but he still picks up the brig kill. Here comes the grab. Lamp is in the way, though. Death Blossom cannot come out if he had it. But they did a really good job of just keeping them together and keeping the damage on them, forcing them not being able to continue pushing. Although they are well within this team point right here. The heals are coming off. That Zarya has Grav from California. And Brig has ulted from Champlain. They are still pushing on the payloads. Zarya has been hacked by Sombra, knowing that she has Grav. It's something they are looking out for. That's why they are backing up, playing it safe. Somber getting hacks off again. There's a Doomfist uh, trying to punch in, but there is a big grab right here and now. But there's the Shatter, but it was not enough. Reinhardt slept by the Ana, and he stays sleeping. Baptiste, a questionable lamp, and the Reinhardt from California has been uh, hacked. Doom has been nanoed, looking for that pick potential. Uh, Reaper has been slept out of his ultimate. Doomfist now ulting point. Zarya bubbles to get out of it. Doomfist still on the point, but hacked. Mass hack from Sombra. Ultimate has been used and now coalesce. It's, it's overtime. They are just cleaning up the point. It was a solid push from California, but they could not get all the way. I think, and, and I think one of the one of the biggest plays here. Um, how about man, like you called it, a massive nano blade, the first one we've seen today. And how about Champlain coming back with the EMP to stop it right in its tracks? You know, I, I thought the Nanoblade was fantastic, but the, the Sombra pick was probably the best thing they could have done in that situation, especially knowing they picked Doomfist because he is hard countered by a Sombra. Once he is hacked, he's almost irrelevant in this game. It's impressive. So, not a lot of time here. Ten seconds. Let's get, let's see what, what changes are made. We did see a McCree there by Shan from California State at the end. Uh, it was just a little bit too late. Uh, let's see what they come out with now. Champlain looks like they're still rocking the uh, Rhine, Zarya, Moira, Lucio. Uh, they're ke they kept the Sombra, but they're keeping Reaper. So it sounds like they're keeping their composition very, very similar to what they last dealt with. Uh, as far as California is concerned, McCree and Doom. Uh, the Doomfist is going to have a hard time with that Sombra, but if he can get those picks out, it won't matter as much. Uh, Ana, Mercy, obviously, is what they've been running all game. I think they're going to keep running it. And then Rhine. Zarya again. Ryan Zarya is a very strong, strong tank combination. Very good for brawling, and it looks like that's what these two teams want to do. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Round two on this second map. 
we have Overwatch here in the NECC. Good early fire strikes, getting that ultimate uh, built up. Doom gets his first pick on the Reaper. They are down one. Champlain then pins the Doom. They are even. Both teams down to DPS. And down two goes California. Down three goes California. They are in not a good position. Reinhardt hacked. No more shield for you. And the Ana goes down. They take first point very, very quickly. Mercy's still looking like she wants to contest or back out. But the Lucio is going to go up there and deal with her. And they're looking for the stagger as well. Connor, what a massive play. Doomfist gets that early pick, drops down, and as he drops down, a huge pin by the Ryan takes him right out of contention, and, and Champlain takes the point. Uh, that's just looking like it must have been some great communication uh, going on Champlain's side, knowing that the, you know, the Doomfist had dropped down, the Ryan had enough communication to know and turn around and get that pin off. It looks like they're going through Castle, which is interesting. They're not pushing payload as of right now. They are dropping directly on the team. This is another interesting uh, bridge play. They are getting after it in that room. Very close. I hear a hack come off from Champlain, and they are bullying that Reinhardt. Zarya is attempting to get out, but the Reaper and Sombra say, no way, you're not leaving. Massive play there. They are getting great time on this payload, pushing it forward. If you're, if you're California State, what are you doing here, Connor? What are you changing? I would definitely uh, take a look and just see what counters their composition currently because they're not going to out brawl with them with their current composition. The Doom got a good pick, but he's not been able to deal with that Sombra in the slightest. And here comes a Coalescence grab on the bridge, which is also going to be in a bad place for them. Uh, high Nude's coming out from behind, though. Big picks, but it was not big enough. It was a really good uh, High Noon. Oh, he's nanoed. He can maybe do something, and they get a res off. California is actually up here. Sombra slept. And she's flashed and she goes off. They regroup. That was wow. a great play by the McCree right there. You know, getting momentum swung back in their favor. Getting those two very important picks. Being able to move forward at this match. And that really saved them from losing that point. California still has Shatter, Valkyrie, and that Doom Pistol as they come back. Scary thing for Champlain. Oh, here's here's a shatter. They're using uh, beat as well to get away from that. Now they're fighting on the bridge. There's that huge hack, which is absolutely devastating to any team playing against it. And here comes the team wipe. Wow, what a momentum take. Like I was about to say, and before they beat me to it, uh, Sombra. Her ultimate is very, very powerful, especially when used in tight locations with their composition. They can absolutely change a fight no matter how many ultimates the other team has. Champlain's Reinhardt has been anteed and he's one HP, but he backs out with just enough shield to get through. It looks like uh, California has grav, but has been shattered. Let's see who's picked. There's two picks there. They grab anyway, and they might be able to turn this fight around for themselves, which they do. They also pop nano on the Reinhardt. It looks like California is going to win this, and Champlain is going to back out and regroup for the next push. They have four minutes, 18 seconds left, and it looks like they're going to play this aggressive but smart. Bigger and one of, the, Genji. one of the things Champlain has done so well is the regroup. They've been so impressive on their regroup as they come back into this team fight. There's a... Oh, High Noon and... High Noon shut down by the pin! Grab thrown and shatter thrown, but canceled each other out. Hacks are coming through. Zarya's hacked. Can't do anything about it. Looks like Ana's in a bad way. Mercy has ulted and is flying above point, but could not stay alive. The Sombra's really being a problem for them right now. Genji trying to pick something up, put it together. Uh, dives in on the Rhine. And then Reaper, with his Death Blossom, picks up two. Reinhardt goes down. All that's left is the supports. For California, and that is the map. Champlain. Wow. I mean, let's. We're gonna take a look, obviously, at this play of the game. But what an impressive stand! It's Shan from Ginzi. It's actually the California State Genji in this map. Let's see this play. 
you know you got to have some respect for those uh nano blades or not even nano blades just regular blades it is very very powerful if used correctly and he is all over those supports you know that's a great job by that genji you know focusing the right targets and getting after who he needs to get after absolutely so two maps so the match goes 2-0 champlain college comes out and just aggressively takes over now we will play this third map as i've said in the past you know map seating map wins will deal with playoff seedings and it's a crucial thing so if you're california state how how do you motivate yourself here in this in this third third and final map to to try to at least steal this last map win so not only do you need to motivate yourself because it does matter for playoffs and things like that, so it's not like they lost today's match and it doesn't matter anymore. It still has purpose. And also, you know, if, as long as they keep trying and keep trying to find something new, it's it's a very good learning experience. You know, you can go back, watch the VOD, you can try new things, learn new things, you know, deal with new situations in a better way, and then learn from what you had trouble with and then move forward in a better way place going forward. absolutely and connor for for champlain i think the thing that needs to be said I, I think communication is something that you comment on a couple times but how about the fact that any time the california state dominguez hill would get momentum they would win a team fight they would have a team wide on the california side they would get all the momentum you would think in their favor champlain college just turns around and i think the way that they regrouped as a team was beyond impressive I, I don't even know a word that would be better than that to come back and after losing every single ounce of momentum and it's almost like they won almost every team fight after a regroup by them it's impressive oh for sure it's just smart overwatch gameplay it's what it comes down to they work very well as a team they know their composition they are brawlers if i've ever seen them they love being up in your face moving fast and dealing with every enemy one at a time it comes down to you know like i said it was communication again they're targeting pretty much the same people for the most part and that is basically mowing down every health bar they get to extremely fast faster than any of the healers can deal with it you know it's a very very powerful thing they're using right now and i'd love to see uh california get a counter for it and really work them hard needing needing to get a counter i mean the the reaper play has just been so aggressive everything they've done and obviously i think i think sometimes it gets looked over but how about how about the support play by both these teams at this high of, of overwatch especially for champlain it, we, it's easy for us to talk about dps and talk about those things that happen but how about those support players keeping them alive and keeping them in this fight to be able to be up 2-0 in this match Oh, for sure. The Lucio is doing his job. He's speeding his team in. You know, he's getting massive heals because Lucio's job isn't to be the main healer of his team. It's really to get their team in good positions to be able to deal with the other team, especially as such a close range uh, co composition as they use. So, you know, having their Lucio, you know, really work into it is re a really great thing to see and not somebody that's focusing on healing the whole time. It's it's great mechanical work and as well as the Mercy play. I've seen a lot of Mercy, mercy play from uh, both sides that it's just been great reses, great healing, not focusing too much on one player or the another and just making sure everybody's topped off going into every fight. And before we get ready to this third round, we do have a change um, for Champlain College. Frosty is going to come in for Lorino and uh, Java Chup. <laughs> I can't say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Java Chup comes in for tracks as well. So uh, going to be changing. I'm oh, sorry. Tracks comes in for Java Chup. And uh, I mean, maybe maybe from Champlain, you're just looking. You know that you've won today's match. Maybe you want to get those subs a chance to be in here in any CC play and see how it looks. Experience is always a good thing, no matter you know what time it is. You know, if if you got a game where it's like you need to, you know, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. You're just trying to learn from your experiences. That is a fantastic time for some subs to come in. You know, try to get their hand off, show what they can do, and maybe turn this thing around. Before we get into these heroes, can you explain to people what this kind of game mode will be here on this point? So this game mode specifically is basically a battle for the middle of the map. There's one point in the middle of the map that both teams are fighting for control over. Uh, as long as one team has control and one person is still in that point, it cannot be taken over by the other team. So the goal is to remove the other team from the point and take it over. 
Now, it looks like there's going to be a lot of brawling going on in this map, too, which looks very good for Champlain, but it also has some really good uh, long-range uh, pathways for any type of long-range sniper or uh, Hanzo, maybe, uh, would be a good way to go. I see Earthquake on the Widow as well as Lorer. So we got two Widows here looking for that uh, long-range gameplay. Out of California, we have Brian Zaria. Uh, and out of Champlain, we have Roadhog Ball. It is an interesting combination. We also have a pharmacy sitting up top, but there is a Pharah attempting to deal with that, or a Widow attempting to deal with the pharmacy. Ball's already anteed, but he's running around doing everything he can. It looks like California is going straight to point instead of uh, anything else. They're really focusing on the objective here, which is not necessarily a bad way to go about it. Ball slams and focuses that mercy, but and the Roadhog ends up getting the final pick on her. Champlain is surrounding the last two tanks. They're on quite literally every side of them. It is very interesting to watch this kind of gameplay where you're watching people so coordinatedly, you know, surround the enemy. Uh, Widow is last alive and is backing off. And it looks like Champlain's going to take this point. And California Ball State going to have to going to have to try to regroup here. Champlain just been so aggressive, giving California State everything they can handle and much, much more. Let's see how they bounce back. It looks like the uh, widows being or uh, was being damage boosted by the Mercy, trying to get a few picks off some grapples, and is trying to change her positioning to deal with it. Where the Farah comes back in and gets uh, dealt with by Genji, but the widow takes over and takes off the Ana ball ults in the middle on point. Reinhardt. Uh, kind of left on his own right now, but Zarya comes, rotates back, you know, uh, <laughs> Mercy gets taken down, Zarya gets taken down, and all that's left is the Reinhardt, Champlain continuing to be dominant here, that ball ultimate was a devastating ultimate right there, took care of every single bit of that Reinhardt shield, and left him with nowhere to go. Mm. Man. What an aggressive play by Champlain. Going to have to, if you're California State, you have to try to do something. You have to try to salvage something in this match. Let's see if they can pull something off here. Both Widows used walls, and there it comes a, bar a damage boosted barrage. Uh, can the Mercy get the res off? She can, and the Genji is one shot after attempting to stuff it. Frosty then picks the Mercy. Very aggressive uh, play by Champlain here, as we've seen all night. And Reinhardt, even on uh, California, even charges backwards to try to get back with his team instead of being in the middle of that team fight. Mercy flies out, getting away from the other team now, and it looks like California regroups. California going to come back, almost have every single one of their alts. And here comes a blade. Nano blade, even. He's going after the Widow specifically. Takes down the Widow. It's a good target for him to take. We are in overtime now. 99-99. Roadhog gets slept. Ball drops. California's uh, Zarya grabs, but Hog survives it. It is Ball Hog in the middle now. Lucio now returning to the fight. It is a 6v3. Lucio goes down. Ball goes down. Roadhog goes down. California takes control and brings it into 99%. 4%. Talk about at the last minute. Wow, way to save a point. You know, they really worked for that one, and they are not giving up. They're working hard for every bit of this game. No Widow from Girthquake drops uh, walls, revealing everyone on uh, every, every position on the map right now. Balls flanking to the side. Same with Roadhog. Roadhog grabs uh, Mercy, takes her down. Roadhog and Ryan get into it in the middle. Damage orb from Moira. Hook from Roadhog, but Roadhog slept. Roadhog now pinned. Moira keeping Roadhog alive, fighting with that Reinhardt. Ball now helping. That Reinhardt's in a bad way and goes down. Looks like Widow from California is out of position. Uh, while his team regroups, it looks like he might be fighting with the Lucio right now. Lucio takes the Widow, and they may not be able to get a touch here. Ball knocks them back, no touch. And that is the end of round one. I mean, Connor, what an impressive showing by Champlain College here. It shows you why they're 1-0 one and, one and oh coming into this game. I mean, just complete dominance so far. 
Yeah, you know, they, they found what they're good at and they have grinded it. They work on they must work on this composition very, very regularly. It seems like they are mechanically, you know, inclined for these brawl up close in your face positions. You know, they, they're hitting their shots, they're really positionally working together well. You know, they're doing all the right little things that you need to do to be able to push the forward. If it like my mom always said, if it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. <laughs> Now, both teams going backside on the way to middle, taking over the gondola area. It looks like they're slowly pushing to the point in pretty much the same way, although Champlain is closer to the point here. Lots of fire strikes, lots of more orbs. It looks like Champlain's Ryan's shield has been broken. Or just, yep, there it goes. It breaks just there, and now they're getting pushed in on, being even more aggressive with a broken Ryan shield. Ryan has been hacked has no shield and it looks like champlain is in the point with uh all of california outside of uh reaper is doing work on the reinhardt picks the reinhardt lucio trying to boop that reaper off of point uh california's reaper going in not taking no for an answer going after that lucio but could not get the pick champlain takes the point and california regroups this point there's not much to say <laughs> you're not wrong here we're at a regroup we got a somber on the background looking for some picks fighting with bizarria gets out alive reaper looks like he's going up he's six percent from an ult it looks like he's gonna drop a death blossom pretty soon going after the lucio reinhardt getting into the mix into the building moira dropping coalescence genji blading in a enclosed area that could be dangerous for anybody it looks like Champlain has to back up. They are down two, but they have ultimate advantage. Actually, they don't even have ultimate advantage. They are down one ultimate compared to California. Let's see if they can bring this back. California beats. They both grab. There was the uh, Sombra EMP, which won that team fight. Sombra EMP is so devastating. No matter how many ultimates are used, it just shuts the game down. Something to be said about that somber play. Wow, I mean, just and, and on Cal, uh, on Champlain for being able to stay on that somber and play it well. It looks like Ryan got a little bit greedy and got taken down by the enemy Reaper, and now they are down their main tank and have to back up in order to stay in this fight. Ninety-one percent uh, Reaper gets picked by McCree. You know they are shattered but miss the shatter. Good block by the California Reinhardt. Good pin, and now the Reinhardt on California is hacked, and they are swinging away. California Reaper, though, comes in with a Death Blossom and takes two, but that was not enough to finish it off. Zarya Sombra Reaper from, uh, from, <laughs> I'm losing my mind a little bit here. <laughs> from Champlain, hold the point, and the game is over absolutely what an impressive performance and as we look let's look at Lido, and it's that somber let's see this somber play of the game oh that's the big the big emp here that is what a team wipe looks like Whew, what a massive play what a massive play as we come back to the necc studio as we call it a studio i mean i'm at my house and connor's at his house but connor what an amazing night of Overwatch. We started out in the Challengers division. It worked. It was an amazing night of Overwatch. Now we come here to the Champions division where Champlain College comes out, moves to 2-0 and on the year with a impressive 3-0 and victory over California State University Dominguez Hills. And, I mean, pure dominance. There's, that's yeah. all to say. This is what Overwatch looks like. This is the real deal. This is what... Overwatch looks like when you have people that understand and play the game frequently and they really work hard about perfecting their gameplay. This is Overwatch in a nutshell. This is beautiful, beautiful gameplay played at a high speed, at a high pace. This is amazing to watch. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to remind you, five nights a week here at the NECC, we have some of the best college esports from anywhere in the country right here. Monday, we started off uh, sponsored by the NFL Alumni Association with Madden Mondays. 
live. Tuesday, we move into high world-class Valorant here at the NECC. And of course, Wednesdays, you can find myself, Connor Breeze, here for Overwatch Wednesdays. Tomorrow night, you will see my man, Ethan, with League of Legends here at the NECC. And then Friday, we move into myself and Boltish Place will be casting um, some world glass rocket league some we have some amazing rocket league programs so if you get a chance come back and see us you can see all of that live at twitch.tv slash necc underscore esports and of course if we're not online you can see everything on social media at necc games on twitter instagram and everywhere but connor it's your first night here at the necc and your first night with me man I, man I'm sure glad you're here, dude. Oh, it's been an exciting night. You know, it's been a lot of fun being here, and I'm excited for the next one. Absolutely, man. You, you're going to have to come hang out with me next Wednesday. We're going to have to do it all over again. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. I love it. I love it. Guys, I want to say a huge thank you to our our partners. Thank you to Helix Esports for everything they do for us. Uh, thank you to the NFL Alumni Association. And, of course, thank you to our friends at ESTV, providing some of the greatest esports action from around the world on their platform. Guys, for the NECC, for our commissioner, Jacob Van Ryan, for our director of esports, Caleb Gluby, because he made me say it right. And of course, the one and only my my guest host tonight, uh, Mr. Connor Breeze himself. Make sure you find us both online. Until next time, my name is Jaron Bell. Thank you for joining us here at Overwatch Wednesdays. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful night, and uh, College Esports lives here. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.